Hey friends, it's Coach Josh here, and I have a story today that is about changing your brain and how hard it can be to do that when you have an environment and people around you who make uh, make doing new things difficult. Not out of malice, but just out of uh, you know you being who you are and they being who they are. So my story begins today with a um, a reminder that. Mm -hmm. When I was a younger man, I didn't have all of the skills and the the way with words and the self awareness that I do now. And uh, I was a I was a, a much angrier and uh, much m much more troubled youth uh, than I even am now, if that's possible. But I used to get into a lot of fights, fist fights. Um, you know, a lot being relative. But uh, if I was emotionally distressed, if I were challenged. Um, I often didn't respond well to it. And I realized through some education and just being around, you know, wiser people that that was a huge character flaw and a very high risk character trait. And so I, I decided when I was in my 20s that I was going to like kind of let this part of me go. But just because I decided to do things differently didn't mean my brain had changed in its um you know, in its response patterns, I still had neural pathways that were, that were diff, deep grooves in, in terms of how I dealt with myself and the environment. And I remember one particular day where um, some friends of mine, it was Friday night and me about six or eight friends, big crews, a lot of us were, uh, were out bar hopping together and having fun and laughing a lot and playing games and, and just being silly. And uh, we were at the, a place called the Doug Fur in, in Portland back when, you know, when bars were a thing and, and social distancing wasn't a thing. I was, you know, being loud and gregarious, talking to lots of people, you know, having fun with my friends. And I uh, made, I made a, an enemy at this bar. I, I didn't really understand it at the time that um, this guy really had it out for me. And uh, he uh, took, took it upon himself to confront me in, a, uh, in, the, in the bar and you know, call me names. And he, I was wearing a collared shirt because I'm fancy like that. And he popped my collar for me, which I felt was a very aggressive move. And I really wanted to strangle him and beat the crap out of him. But I just had this new idea that I was trying to remake myself and, and try to do things differently. And um, I wasn't a master at that yet. So I calmly like walked off and my friends who had, you know, they love me and they, they love my personality. They thought for sure I was going to just, just go to town on this guy. And that's not what happened. I, I actually walked away and um, sort of diffused the situation and, and let in and, and let him uh, be the victor. And um, I was really struggling with this inside and, uh, and, and, you know, whether it was the environment or he felt egged on by the people around him, he didn't want to let it go. So he followed me and, you know, into the uh, patio on the back by the fire and, and then tapped me on the shoulder and said like, Hey, you know, um, let's, you know, let's, we have another shot at, at you and me fighting. Let's go, let's go off to by ourselves and, and have it out. And I, uh, Oh my gosh. I was, it was so stupid. It was so stupid how difficult it was for me to, um, to let it go and, and, and realize that in order to change my behavior and be different, I had to, be in a completely different environment. Like I obviously was, I needed to leave that bar. I needed to leave that place. I needed to leave this place where people were antagonizing me and expecting me to, to act a certain way. I know I'll never figure out why that guy was so passionately enthused about uh, punching me in the face. Um, but, you know, in hindsight, I, I realized that uh, I met a lot of those people over the years or made a lot of those people over the years. But um, the funny part is, is, you know, we decide that we want to change. And the people around us aren't necessarily ready for that. Sometimes they expect us to fall into bad behaviors. But every time you make a decision to delay your reaction and, 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 and avoid the immediate, immediate natural response to something, you're creating a new neurological pathway in your brain. And it may not be a fist fight. It might be eating a cookie uh, after you have an argument um, or before you get on the Zoom call with your family. It could be um, having that drink at the end of the day, like pouring yourself a glass of wine or a scotch uh, in order to, to sleep better, uh, whatever that may be. And, and to do things differently, 
it, you have to decide, number one, you have to decide and you have to commit to, um, to a new path. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. The environment's not set up for you to do things differently. So you might have to change the environment as well or, or mentally prepare for your conversations. But every time you do, every time you delay that natural reaction and response, you get closer to developing what you really want, which is a new, a new brain, a new habit, and a new way of doing things, which becomes your new identity. So delay your reaction, create a response, and then shape the environment around you and then educate the people around you on how to help you to do that. So um, thanks to my friends who continue to help me uh, let go of the, the reckless past that I used to live and continue to be my best self, continue to live a, a gritty life and bring forth the warrior within.